So welcome back everyone. So we're in the Mithrium company, yes. Company, yeah. Um Brewix is the brand, the sub brand underneath that. So I'm joined by Demir Imsurovic. Yeah, is that correct? Imsurovic, yeah. yes, yeah. correct. Please, uh, my ignorance of not knowing languages <laughs> is because I didn't learn them at school. Um, <laughs> but look, we, we have got a very good relationship. Yeah. We've known each other now since 2014. Yes. Yeah. Um, thank you for putting the faith in us mm. to distribute your brewing equipment, first and foremost. Um, I just want to let you guys have a chat with the mayor because it's it's not very often we get the opportunity to sit down with suppliers and one thing that's really important to me is working with family businesses because the relationship's different, isn't that mm -hmm. fair yeah, to say? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So became very friendly with Demir and mm. Moicha and they make incredible quality brewing equipment. I mean, handmade from scratch. Tell the viewers about the Brewix brand. How did how did it come about? Yeah, actually, the family company Mitreum was established in 1990 yeah. uh, with my parents. Actually, in the beginning, they were producing wine equipment, yeah. wine tanks, wine presses, wine filters, and this was going very well. And it was a very big trend in this area. We, we are very uh, wine, uh, wine uh, big in wine in this area. Uh, so, and then they also, while my parents run the company, they were also working uh, semi-finished product for pharmacy, chemical industry, uh, food industry. And in this period, uh, our team uh, get very good uh, hand skills. Yes, yeah. uh, our, spe our specialty is that there is no robots. It's all done by hand, handcrafted uh, from beginning to end. And me and Moitza, my wife, we took over the company in 2014 yeah. and we started developing our own brands, our own products. And so in 2014 we start uh, with the Bruvix brand and um, with Bruvix it's uh, all our idea. Uh, complete development is uh, from our side. Actually the mixing system is also patented. Yeah. Uh, the brand is registered and uh, actually we sell it worldwide. Yeah. And uh, I'm very happy that we have it in all the continents all around the world. Um, so I think now I would need to check the exact number, but at the moment I think there is around 250 units yeah. all around the world. They evenly distributed it, it, actually in all the countries. Yeah. Everybody can use it. Uh, so yeah, main, main, main thing is what I would like to say that we are a family company. Uh, all, um, my, my parents started, we continued. And we all our workers, our team members, they are all like family. And um, also the idea, the development is all our and complete production from flat steel to end user and to end finished product. That to me is incredible because, like I've been here loads of times, but I've never, you know, I've never had the the um, opportunity to bring our videographer Dylan along, but. Um, Earlier today, I actually noticed one of the guys making screws. Mm -hmm. He was actually tapping the thread in the yeah. screws. And, and I've seen it before where it's sheets of stainless steel come mm -hmm. in. And, you know, my research and online, I can see, you know, you can see suppliers in Asia. Mm -hmm. um, you can see suppliers that use robots that, yeah. you know, do welding. And mm -hmm. you can see people using cheap and thin yeah. component parts. You, you are not doing that at all. Yeah. You know, Actually, we are quite different, totally an opposite. Uh, all materials that's much more thicker yeah. and all handmade that we that you uh, observe all the welds yeah. uh, during the weld uh, because you need to watch you I need to actually see how the weld is forming yeah. that you see that is uh, right amount right way welded yeah. it can be that it, it that it will last much longer yeah so also the warranty is long and um, I say the thing is, when you get your own Bruvix, also when we were developing it, that you can maintain it through the years, many years, and even though in the beginning it's warranty and all this, but my goal was uh, that in 10 years, 20 years, you are still able to change parts, yeah. and the stainless steel part is so strong yeah. together that it's like the same 10, after 10 years, after 20 years, it's always the same. And this is the reason that we need to we use thick materials yeah. and uh, everything welded by hand. Yeah. Now, 
I've noticed walking around the <clears throat> production facility today, you weld everything by hand, mm. but you also test all the welds. Yes. So there's like a dye test. Yes, yes. It's, you yeah. have two colors. Yeah. Uh, you have white and pink. Yeah. And uh, the, this is very special uh, spray. Even there, if there is a hole, there can be so small hole that water cannot go through. Yeah. And this uh, this color went through. For example, on white color you see pink color yeah. and then you see the hole you, you actually it can be so small that you cannot even see it with the yeah. own eye and then when you clean it <clears throat> and weld uh, through this hole then you see this hole yeah so, so yes everything is uh, tested with these colors uh, because uh, as i said you, you you cannot even see with by, by your own eyes yeah and with these colors you check everything um, and then, then you do a, a really high quality finish. Yeah. So like I give you a very difficult <laughs> request with, yeah. um, we're very grateful to Paul and the deer's head, by the way, <laughs> yeah. for the order. Um, but he wanted rose copper, but he wanted it to look perfect yeah. all the time. So we had the high lacquer it several yes. times with chemical proof lacquer. Yeah. Um, but really when, when you're finishing a Bruix, it's, mm. it's polished. It, yeah. you, you grain it first yes. by hand and then you high polish it so yes. that it's got that perfect finish. Uh, we grain it uh, several times and then the end polish also, all but all done by hand yeah. with different graining materials. Uh, the idea is that at the end you don't see where the weld is. Yeah. That you cannot distinguish the flat surface, the weld part. That you, it's like molded from one piece. Yeah. This is the main idea. Yeah. One of the key things that's been good for us for Brewix, now I, I again would need to check the exact number, somewhere between 20 and 25 mm. breweries I think yes. we've done now. Um, plug and play, yeah. plug and brew. Yeah, plug and brew, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, we can train people yeah. how to use the system to make consistently high quality beer. So for us, our focus has been the smaller systems. Mm. But we've seen today in your production yeah. unit that you're now moving into that bigger yes. brewing system. Yeah. So. What challenges have you encountered in relation to that? And do you feel you're now well positioned to push yeah. that forward? Uh, this, for example, 500 units is a best seller. We sell it all around the world. Yeah. And it's uh, very good for a restaurant, yeah. uh, for a single family uh, to run business. Yeah. 500 units is perfect. Yeah. Once you go beyond this limit, then you're like industrial produ producer. Yeah. And that's why we built uh, Brewix 1000. It's yeah. fully automated. Um, and one very specific about this unit is that it's all electric yeah. and it for heating for heating part it uses only 30 kilowatts okay actually it uses the same power plug as 500 unit yeah so this is very big advantage um, especially in the current climate yes. where electricity yeah. is so expensive yeah and this is uh, also what also what also what um, is very also what is possible to use uh, uh, other heating sources uh, some ex any kind of external heat source yeah. can be connected to the heating system. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, in one of our previous um, brewery applications at Hills Time, we had used a home heating system mm. and and connected yeah. it up yeah. to the Brewix 500, yes. and we were able to use home heating oil to, yes. to power it. You know, yeah. as w to basically what we did was we used that to bring it up to near the boil, mm. and then the elements then, just kept yes, in yes. to keep the you yeah. know the rolling boil. Um, so. The large-scale industrial mm. production equipment, is that going to be a focus going forward? Actually, what we, for me, our baby is still 500. Yeah. It's like the best, best of the both worlds. Yeah. You can brew once per week, for example, and have enough beer, or you can make heavy use. I know people getting reports back, they use it two times per day, every work day. Yeah. It's like workhorse. It, yeah. You can actually you can work it a lot. Also, you could add Brewix Plus, it's like boil vessel. Yeah. And then you have free vessel system. Uh, we did the test uh, that we brewed 5,000 liters of wort in 24 hours. Yeah, on a Brewix 500. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. so <clears throat> the idea is for 1,000. Um, it's fully automated uh, and um, it's very high output, yeah. low energy usage and also recuperation of hot water and everything. And um, also it, it looks also very good, very big yeah. uh, when assembled uh, in the place. And um, a lot of 
now we have we sold quite of them quite a few units yeah uh, united states france germany yeah uh, switzerland they're yeah. already running all, all here uh, most of them use it uh, in a bar uh, to, as a showcase yeah to have it good and also they use it uh, most of the time uh, to brew overnight when the bar is closed yeah so that in short time they make a lot of beer yeah yeah um, I've noticed you know, Brewworks 500 is bestseller yeah. for us. Um, so if I look at you, it being used as a workhorse, mm -hmm. the, genuinely the only thing that we really see is pump seals need changed yes. and yes. Uh, the odd uh, installation has needed some yeah. he heating element replacements. Yeah. The build quality is mm. a credit to you. Yeah. So like you're doing all the stainless steel yes. handmade. Yes. All the electrical components are all Siemens. Yes, so uh, actually, now this uh, Schrag Siemens Schneider yeah. uh, for 500 yeah. uh, depends on the delivery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, everything is uh, European made. This is my. Uh, this is what is important for me. Yeah, that we get all the components from Europe. Yeah, and also in last year we upgraded all these uh, units, uh, these uh, parts which were uh, most needed. Yeah, the replacements fastest. Um, the computer is Unitronics, is universal all around the world. On 1000 unit, yeah. uh, we use uh, all Siemens. So we, co we covered the hot side production. Yeah. Um, I love the CCTs, mm. you know, so CCTs, cylindrical, conical um, yeah. tank, and pressurized is what I would recommend mm. everyone goes for. Um, you have a very unique uh, yeah. cooling stripe that yes. goes around the body. Tell us a little bit about yes, that. Yes, this uh, this is this came uh, from uh, our past experience from pharmaceutical uh, equipment. Yeah. Uh, when we built uh, special reactors and special tanks for pharmacy, uh, this kind of technique is used there uh, yeah. to maximize uh, the efficiency. Yeah. Actually, the, in the pharmacy we used half pipe. If you imagine, you take a pipe and put it on the side in half, yeah. and you put this half pipe around. Yeah. And we even increase this, uh, that we flatten uh, the stripes, we put the stripes all around the cylindrical part. Yeah. And what is also very important, we also put on the cone. Yes, yeah. And uh, because of the stripes, the, the, the liquid moves fast. Yeah. And the ideally is that the input inlet, temperature of the inlet and outlet is the same. And with this, you have the best efficiency of heat transfer. Yeah. In yeah. our case, cooling. Yeah. Uh, so cooling is very accurate. Uh, very good. Also, what is very important that uh, very because with these stripes, it's the least amount of volume of yeah. cooling liquid inside. And once the valve closes, there is no much change in difference uh, later on. For example, if it closes on 5.5, for example, it will stay here. Yeah, yeah. It, it won't it won't drop for for one degree. Yeah. Uh, further on. The one thing with the, the <coughs> fermentation tanks. Um, when, when I give a customer a price with a fermentation tank, mm. it's fully furnished. Yes. And that's a key thing to take into consideration yeah. um, when you're comparing. It has to be apples yeah. for apples. So uh, pharma grade quality, yeah. uh, insulated, pressurized, yes. but it comes with all the butterfly valves, yeah. all the pigtail yes. sampling taps. It comes with the solenoid connections, yes. comes with the temperature regulator, control, electrical yes. control panel. So <clears throat> you really in my opinion, delivering, it, it's the same with the tanks as you are with the hot side yeah. production, a finished product that just plugs in yes, and it's ready exactly. for use. Yeah. For me, what, what is very important as a user was uh, if, we, if I'm buying, for example, brewery, yeah. and the idea is that I make beer with this, so actually that I get all equipment what I need. Yeah. Not that I need to install this, install, install this and install this. For yeah. example, on the tanks, it comes all pre-wired, yeah. And you just connect them, plug one in another, and you get electrical and box. They, they daisy chain the Yes, daisy chain, yeah. yes. Yeah. And you get electrical box and you plug it in, and you have immediately 24 volt installation already done on site, immediately. Yeah. With no no uh, extra companies coming to make any kind of wiring. Yeah. Only part is uh, that you need to do from your site is piping. Yeah. Because this depends on every room, different size, and this is yeah. very expensive to supply from our side. Yeah. However, the tanks because you can start tanks using with the garden hose <laughs> yeah, <laughs> connected yeah. and that, you, that the tank is fully equipped with safety valve with the manhole with the butterfly with sample tap yeah uh, with temperature regulator with, with solid valve and also pressure regulating valve yeah and vacuum valve already and ball all on the tank so actually 
from day one that you get, you can wash the tank and you can use it immediately. Yeah. You don't need to purchase any kind of parts for for afterwards. Yeah, we, we had a customer recently explain to us, um, they ordered tanks from China and they mm -hmm. came with a real bad oily finish inside mm -hmm. and it ruined their first few batches yeah. of beer because they were unable to get the... Yeah, it's, it's very important to, yeah. to clean it and sometimes it's very hard. Yeah. Uh, we don't use any kind of oil. Yeah. Uh, it's all it's all uh, dry. Yeah. There, there is some dust. Yeah. Uh, but uh, however, it, because dust is in the air all the time. Yeah. So we, you you can you need to wash it. Yeah. But it's enough for one time. Actually, yeah. with water and then zip, and like normal normal zip cleaning as you do after every brew. Yeah. Yeah. It's enough. Yeah. No special cleanings. No special solutions. Normal zip procedure. What you do all the time. It, it's enough. Brewix 200, Brewix 300, Brewix yeah. 500, Brewix 1000. Why did you call it that when you can make 20% more? Yeah, actually, <laughs> for me, it, yeah. for me, it was like this. Uh, if I buy equipment, I need to sell beer yeah. to f to get to get money back for my investment. Yes, yeah. And the amount of the beer that I sell is the amount of the money that I get. Yes. So the 200, 3, 5, 1000 is the amount of the finished bottled beer what you sell yeah so that i with this machine i will make i will sell 200 liters of beer yeah it will bring me x amount of money yeah this is the reason it's very difficult especially now it's much easier but in the first years it was very difficult to explain yeah uh, what this means because everybody else uh, uses for example everybody else would say for example 500 it's 730 liters yeah. in the mesh yeah and uh, we, we call you call it we still call it 500 this is one thing uh what i think uh, also what is uh for me the goal was that you could brew whatever you would like yeah or put potatoes inside beans so bananas uh, pasta pasta <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, honey whatever you get an idea yeah. all around the world for example in uh, japan they're putting gummy bears inside yeah. Uh, what else I saw? Uh, Popcorn recently. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. there's been lots And of, also, yeah. yes, in Japan I especially I saw a lot of things. For example, in, in India I saw they put cool bananas inside. Flour. Yes, flour. Yes, yes, flour, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. with flour also. Yeah. Look, if you're watching this and you're not um, from the, the brewing industry, Brewix can deal with um, ingredients that other breweries just would fall apart. Yeah, with, exactly. You yeah. know, yeah. Um, like we have experimented with um, all sorts of weird, wonderful things in the brewery just delivers. The one point I we've touched on this about the volumes. If you're looking at a competitive piece of equipment, um, there's a difference between being a passionate brewer and yeah. being a passionate brewer with a business yeah. acumen. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying there's a negative in either because it's nice to see passion mm -hmm. from both. But if you're buying a brewery, it needs to make money. Mm -hmm. If if you're installing a Brewix brewery, you can be guaranteed you'll mm -hmm. hit those outputs. Yes, and that's the key thing to yeah. take take from this is you know build your business plan around. If you're if you're on a Brewix 500, mm -hmm. you need to make sure that the plan is you make 500 liters packaged, mm -hmm. not that you use a different system and end up with 400 yes, and 20, yes, and yes. then wonder why you're not making any yes, money. Exactly, yes, exactly. You know. Yeah. Um, for, look, for me, I've really enjoyed mm. working with you. I think we've built a very mm. strong relationship. Um, I have 20 odd yeah. or 20 plus yes, yes. breweries installed, mm. and um, I'd like to think everyone else has had a positive experience. Yes. Um, any problems we've ever had, you've you've just you've just fixed it with yeah. a quibble, and that's the difference between a corporate mm. business and a family yeah. business, you know. So, anything further you want to add and tell the guys at home? Actually, maybe just to summarize the benefits of Brewix. Yeah. Uh, for example, most uh, it, well, one thing that is very important that it, it can fit in any room. Yeah. If we can put it through the window, from the roof. <laughs> yeah, we've we've yes, done that in Belfast yeah, City yeah. Centre. We put third floor through yeah, the roof. Yeah. Um, we've also made a demountable one that went downstairs yes. in the basement. Yeah. We've made. You, it can go through the hallways, uh, yeah. through the narrow doors. Uh, this is one thing, narrow spaces like doors, man, uh, hallways, yeah. other ways, it's low ceilings. You, that's right, you've done that for me as well, where we had to drop the legs, yeah, the legs on the yeah. tanks to, to yeah. allow it to fit into a garage yes, building. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To, to also to, to, to assemble into the low ceilings. This is one thing that is very important, to fit in every room. Yeah. Uh, what the second thing is what is very important is the maintenance, that you can get replacement parts 
anyway we ship it yeah. however in 10 years 20 years you can get it locally yeah it's all standardized yeah. no no uh, assembly part is custom built yeah all components are standard so yeah. in tw even in 20 years you can get you can you'll be able to buy it and then again if you just touch a, touch a little bit about the volume on one side that you can make if you make lighter beer you can make more volume yeah if you have stronger beer you will have still 500 liters yeah this is very important uh, this and what would be it, the sustainability of Brewix is something that's really important yeah. so that, that's becoming a, a key talking point mm -hmm. so for from my point of view we recycle the water yes the, uh, you yes. know the, the energy generated yeah. from cooling is reused in the next batch yeah. Um, you know, the system itself is designed yes. to be super efficient in terms of energy yes. consumption. It's super silent yes. as well, you know, so there's lots of good... Yeah. And also uh, the efficiency of uh, mesh and graining yeah. um, because of the mixing system. Yeah. We did a study on that and yeah. you helped me with the yeah. blog article and I, like, I can pop that in the comments below where people can read that. So we were able to evidence that you could make the same beer mm -hmm. on a Brewix system using 10% yes. less ingredients in comparison yeah. to... A also, all, all, all tests what we've done also here in Slovenia was always 10 plus. Yeah. Uh, any kind of other type of equipment, it was uh, always the same. Yeah. It was 10%. Uh, we used we used 10% less of ingredients for yeah. the same amount of alcohol in the volume, the same amount, the yeah. same beer. Yeah. And also the the, the heating system in the brewery, uh, it's um, it's faster. It's fast and yeah. complete brewing time. It's faster. Depends on the type and the lautering. This is the separate, but overall process is uh, yeah. fast. And if somebody yeah. wants something uniquely adapted yeah. you're willing to do that on yes, a case-by-case yes, case yes, basis yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, most of most of the most of most of the modification comes for the for, for the space yeah yeah everything else uh, for example what we had one or two units that uh, to put higher feet on lotter for yeah. example or uh, to put a mesh without a fit to put on a frame yeah any kind of this yeah uh, everything's possible because we built from scratch you built dispensing tanks for the brew yeah. pub that we did in Belfast yeah. and you mounted them sideways recently yeah. as well for me just off the back yeah. of me giving you yeah. a, pen, a pencil drawing <laughs> yeah exactly a, just what, from drawing yeah, what's yeah. up that yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. so what's the future for Brewix uh, for me main goal is that all existing customers are satisfied yeah all new customers are serviced and uh, quickly maintained yeah all what they need and that uh, Brewix 500 or any other Brewix is even more uh, in more countries, <laughs> yeah. even though it's all it's it's all in all the continents. But yeah. I like that it's in even more. Yeah. Uh, also, what we are now developed is uh, the uh, distillery. Yeah. Distillery. We call it distillix. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, it will it will be an option um, now. Actually, what we are now developing is a standalone system. Yeah. It is built from the base of the Brewix 500. Yeah. Uh, we are now making 500 and 1,500 uh, yeah. pro prototypes. So like an add-on? Like an add-on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not sure yet, we need to make tests. Yeah. Um, however, we are going in this direction yeah. uh, to also be present in, uh, in, um, in uh, distilling, distilleries, yeah. these distillings. And uh, my, newest, my, my, my newest idea now and what we are developing now is the de alcoholization system. Okay. It doesn't have a name. Yeah. We, we also we already made the prototype. The alcoholics. <laughs> the the alcoholics. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could we could use the yeah, alcoholics. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we use <laughs> yeah. the alcoholics. We have now a 30 liter system. Okay. Running, uh, and the idea is uh, to uh, mix system where all the aromas, flavor, serving stays uh, untacked. Yeah. That we just extract the alcohol. Yeah. Now, and this is my also what we are developing now. Yeah. And I'm very excited about it. Are we allowed to mention that you're looking at hydrogen powered brewing equipment? Yes. Yes. yes yeah. yeah. Uh, the, I always wanted to make something crazy with uh, Brewix. Yeah. Uh, for example, that we flew with helicopter, That's the, right, yeah. the highest uh, brewery in Europe, in Italy. Yeah. Uh, and then. Um, also, what this extreme, for example, to put 100 kilos of malt in 200 unit. Yeah. Everything what is extreme. Um, I'm in two years. I'm now looking for option. Uh, first, my first my first idea was uh, to connect uh, Bruvix uh, to electric car, to use the battery from the car and to, to make brew. Yeah. 
However, the car, car companies didn't agree because we were making alcohol and they didn't want to support us. Now I'm involved in hydrogen yeah. and I'm looking for option to make a hydrogen cell or hydrogen generator to produce electricity yeah. and then to connect Bruvix on it yeah. and to brew. And this is my next uh, idea yeah. what I'd like to make. So Bruvix is innovating and pushing the boundaries. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, look, I have very fond memories of when um, a friend of mine, Michal, introduced yeah, me to yes. you um, <laughs> and we came here and I remember the little Brewix 200 pilot yes. system, yeah. you know, so we've been on an incredible journey yeah, together. If you true. think that was 2014, yeah, 2014, what, yeah, yeah, what we're doing now, yeah, <laughs> so good times. Look, Demir, thanks so much. It's an honour and a privilege for our family to work with your family and I genuinely mean that. Um, and we have a bright future together. Um, if you have any interest in Brewix equipment, don't hesitate to reach out to ourselves. We look after UK and Ireland, but we help brewers all over the yes, place. Too, um, too. And if you want to reach out to Demir um, for a project, if you want something unique made in relation <laughs> to brewing, this is your man yes. for the job. So thanks so much for watching, and until next time, happy brewing. Thank you very much.